You're Herb Jones here. You got to get low. You got to battle LeBron out past the paint at the three-point line. You can look at this. You cannot let LeBron just walk right into the paint without doing anything. So now he's got you sealed. Okay, the Pelicans keep doing this weird thing. So Herb Jones is going to switch on to D'Angelo Russell. Brandon Ingram switches on to LeBron. That's how you got to do it. I don't even know. So now you're just like, whoopsies, never mind. Let's switch back. Well, now LeBron comes off of a flare screen. So now Valanciunas ends up switching onto LeBron and Herb Jones is on to Anthony Davis. Done. Like, okay, stop. And look what the, you do it again. You, you, you switch after, what? So now Zion Williams is going to come in the paint because you're like switching back after switching and pff, off of a made basket. I mean, why? Zion's late getting back. He just scored. So why is Jonas Valanciunas standing in the absolute middle of nowhere? Why is Brandon Ingram standing in the absolute middle of nowhere? Could someone get over to Torian Prince? How does it, how does that happen? Off a of make, this is just complete garbage. This, okay, there's a lot of things you can do on this ball screen. You can switch. Zion can take Austin Reeves. Jose Alvarado's going to get low. He can battle Anthony Davis out past the three-point line. Najee Marshall's in help. Okay? I could also ice this ball screen because I and keep Austin Reeves to the sideline because I have nothing but backside defenders. And Najee Marshall's right there in backside help. Everyone's in backside help on the weak side of the floor. And we keep Austin Reeves towards the sideline. What I can't do is whatever this is. Najee Marshall's going to double. The soon as he leaves to double, Jose Alvarado's got to rotate over. Whether Rui Hachimura's cutting or not, I got to rotate onto Rui Hachimura. Then Brandon Ingram would have to get up the line because he would rotate to the weak side wing. Trey Murphy would rotate to Jared Vanderbilt. Alvarado would end up in the corner. And Najee Marshall just comes back to Rui Hachimura. But I mean, Najee Marshall's going to double and there's no rotation. The ro rotating at the rim is too late. Herb Jones is late getting out to LeBron. That's okay. You have help everywhere. Look at Trey Murphy. Jose Alvarado, they've all come over to help you. So just get up. Please, get up and guard. Look at this. Why are you playing off? Look at this help that you have help everywhere. Trey Murphy, Alvarado, they're standing there. What? So this is a ball screen right here. The Pelicans have to do something about this ball screen. Zion can hedge, right? Because there's backside help right there for Jackson Hayes' role. Okay? I could switch. Zion can take LeBron. Herb Jones gets on to Jackson Hayes. You force LeBron to where your help is towards the middle of the floor. The Pelicans, this is a ball screen. The Pelicans do nothing. So LeBron's wide open. Jose Alvarado in transition. I want to get to the three-point line and have my back to the baseline. So I'm seeing ball, seeing man. Look at Jose Alvarado. Out past the three-point line, your back is to the sideline. You're not seeing LeBron. You're getting beat back door. So Jose Alvarado switching the screen. I don't know. Do you have a game plan here? You can't talk and think about switches. Every time Alvarado and Herb Jones are in a ball screen, we're switching. Because Herb Jones got to immediately get underneath. All right? I don't even know what's happening here. Alvarado's switching. What is Herb Jones doing? Switching over the top, I guess. Terrible. Brandon Ingram is going to be in backside health off this LeBron Anthony Davis pick and roll. But wouldn't it be better if Jonas Valanciunas got up and pushed LeBron out of the lane? Like Anthony Davis is rolling. There's backside help right there. And Brandon Ingram is going to be there. But let's get LeBron out of the lane. Let's push him out past the three-point line. Instead, look at this. You just let LeBron get right in the paint. So Brandon Ingram is there in backside help. But Dyson Daniels is trying to fight over the top guarding LeBron in the paint. Uh, Not going to happen. Come on, this is in transition. Could Zion Williamson please sprint back to the three-point line? You're jogging right here. If Zion's sprinting, okay, his back's to the baseline, he's seeing LeBron, who he's guarding, and the ball. You're seeing neither. So LeBron just catches this on the run. This is in transition. Look at this. Everyone's pointing to take Torian Prince. No. In transition, half-court matchups don't mean anything. I don't just stand in random spots on the floor. I go to the next body. Right there, that looks like Valanchunas. Don't point and tell someone to take Torian Prince. You got to go over there and take him. Cross matches happen all the time in transition. But look at this trash. Everyone's pointing. Take to No, just go. It Very simple. If you're Zion Williamson, this is supposed to be a switch. So get underneath immediately. That's what's most important. Valanchunas is coming up on the switch. How? Look at how late... So you switch over the top. How do the Pelicans keep screwing up these switches? This time it's Valanchunas. You're supposed to be switching. So I got to be up, level to Anthony Davis, so that when LeBron comes, look at this. Where's Valanchunas? I should be up right now, ready to guard. You're switching. What? 
It's like, what are the Pelicans doing? They're switching the screen. So first of all, could CJ McCollum and Trey Murphy just stay home? Nanaji Marshall, again, needs to get underneath the screener. But Valanciunas is coming up here to take the ball. If Najee Marshall's where he's supposed to be, he'd be right there and help, and that'd be it. All right? But Najee Marshall's switching over the top. But even still, okay, the help is coming right here from C.J. McCollum. Could Trey Murphy go back to the corner? McCollum's going to be the one that's going to be in help. Like, he's up the line, on the wing. What is Trey Murphy doing? So now C.J. McCollum's got to dip down. Just like, what are the Pelicans doing? So Valanciunas is switching the screen. First of all, he should be leveled to the screener so he's ready to take LeBron immediately off the screen because then Trey Murphy can get help and that dribble gets picked up. And Najee Marshall's got to get underneath the screener, obviously. But again, like, so Valanciunas is playing off and then, like, the Pelicans are doing that. Najee Marshall, I guess, wants to switch back. Well, you can't do that in the middle of the play. Najee Marshall's got to play from underneath Anthony Davis here. Get low and battle. You can always send a double and rotate out of it, okay? But what you can't do is front the post when you have no backside help. So Brandon Ingram's going to be late arriving in this backside up. There's nothing you can do about this. So now this pass gets over the top, and it's just catch, turn, cut, draw defenders, Tory. It's... First of all, Dyson Daniels needs to be up the line here. Like, you still be in help, but I, and I also got to have my back to the baseline. I'm seeing both ball and man. So I don't, the Pelicans are switching the screen. So I don't know why Dyson Daniels is so focused on what's going on over there. But you still got to be up the line. Your feet have got to be set in a defensive stance. Look at this. Your, your feet aren't set. You're not in a defensive stance. So you're going to be late to get out to Rui Hachimura. You're not ready to guard. He can just rip and go in the paint. You're off balance, too. It's classic. You can't do this if you're Jose Alvarado. Please just wait for Austin Reeves to come off the screen to start defending the screen. You lean towards the screen early. This is going to happen all the time. Just go the other way.